Here's three most common mistakes in the street fight that you must know. Here are things that I learned from Bruce Lee's training, from Wing Chun, from self-defense, from combatives training. And you must know these if you want to win street fights and avoid getting hurt, avoid getting injured. So are you ready? Let's go. Mistake number three in a street fight is not being aware of the fighting distance and letting somebody come too close. So what are the fighting distances in a street fight or in martial arts and in fighting in general? Let's talk about them one at a time. So first distance is when he is out of range. That means even if I take a step and I kick, I can't reach him, or I take a step and I punch, I can't reach him. This is the safest distance and obviously this is the distance that, is, that you want to be in because you don't want to be in the fight in the first place. Okay? The second distance is um, kicking range, so another step in is kicking range. It's because all you have to do is to take a step and kick and you can reach him. All right? Or even take a step and punch and you can reach him. So this is the kicking range. All right? The second one is the uh, striking range or punching range. Uh, because you only you can punch him without even taking a step. You can just reach out and you can punch him. And this is also called the conversation range, because this is how you talk to people usually uh, in the regular situation. Okay. Then we come to the posturing range, right? They're like this. They're pushing each other. They're in each other's faces. They're shouting at each other, swearing. Okay. And this is uh, you can call this a grappling range if you want, right? So what range do you want to be like uh, in in a street fight? Well, obviously, you want to be. Out of, the, uh, out of the range first. But next, let's say that the attacker is coming closer to you. Now, you have an option right at that time, okay? When he's about to come close to you, is you can even walk away at the same time, or basically get ready for him to come into your range, striking range, okay? So, let's go back for a second. So let's say he's there and he's watching, hey, he's pointing at you, hey, you want to fight? Fight. So, so at that point, I can only, only like walk away because yeah. I'm maintaining because I'm maintaining the safe range. Okay, um, it may not be the best situation, uh, best option for you. Maybe there's no way to run. There's uh, maybe you're blocked. Your path is blocked behind you, or it's too crowded and you can't move away. Um, so maybe walking away is not the best option. Um, but that's up to you to decide based on the situation. Most of the time, what I would do is if somebody is, is further away, I'll get into a position where I'm ready to attack, okay? uh, which is basically leaning forward, having most of my weight on my front leg, my hands down so that I'm not showing him that, he, that I'm about to attack, that I'm ready. And also, I am uh, kind of leaning slightly forward, kind of hunching, so that I create a spring in my spine and spring in my legs so that I'm ready to pounce. Okay? So we'll get into that in another video on how to get in an attack position. But right now we just talk about distance. So distance, when, when he's in the, the, the kicking range distance, that's basically when you need to be ready to attack. Because once he steps into the kicking range, if you don't attack first, he can already attack you. Because he can kick you or he can punch you at that time. So the second big mistake that you can make in a street fight is to not attack first. Because statistically, 80% of the fights that are won are won because the person attacked first. It has nothing to do with their training. It doesn't matter if you train for 20 years. It doesn't matter of their size, how big they are, how strong they are. It's actually the person who attacked first has 80% chance of winning the street fight. And why is that? Well, let's ask how long do street fights usually last? How long do you think they last? Right, they're pretty fast, right? Basically, it's like boom, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. That's already long. Think about how many punches you can throw in six seconds already. There's a lot of punches, right? You go like, one, two, right? That's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight punches already in, um, I'm just throwing wild punches. Wild punches, right? That's usually what happens in a street fight. Just wild punches. If you look at some wild punches, street fights, that's like, Four seconds already through eight punches. Okay, so there's so many people will attack you fast and furious in a real street fight. So it doesn't take many seconds for a street fight to end. Okay, so that's why you need to be the one attacking first.
Are you ready for the number one mistake that people make in street fights? Here it is. The number one mistake that people make in street fights is fighting too honorably or expecting the other guy to fight honorably. Okay? We're in the street. There's no rules. All right. So everything goes. So if you are going to fight honorably, for example, um, what? If you're going to fight honorably? Yeah. Uh, you only do that in a ring situation where there's a referee. If you're on the street, you don't know if the guy's like drugged out of his mind. Like you want to walk away alive and and basically in good condition. Yeah. So you do anything that works. Right. So fight dirty. What's dirty? Poke in the eyes, go through the throats, groin, okay? Go up for the weak spots because the guy's bigger than you. He may be carrying a gun or a knife. He will have friends with him most of the time. So is that situation honorable to start with? Do you want to just stick with sparring rules? <laughs> I don't think so, right? Because now you're in, in danger of your life. So you have to be able to um, do things that are effective. What's the most effective thing? Like I said, attack the most vulnerable spots on your target, right? And also, uh, a bonus tip is to hit as hard as you can. A lot of people, they spar and then just like, they just do 50%, they train 50% hits, right? And nobody really gets hurt, which is fine for training, right? To build it up to that level, but you need to have some um, training where you use all your force. For example, um, easy way to do that is practice with targets, right? Practice with targets and hit as hard as you can, right? Right, hit as hard as you can, right? And then, um, so practice hitting as hard as you can so that you can get used to putting all your, all your uh, body momentum into every attack, okay? If you wanna learn how to hit harder, make sure you watch my video on how to punch harder. It's got over 4 million views and it's got a lot of tips and exercises to help you to hit harder. So let's summarize what are the three mistakes of street fights. First is distance. If the person is getting too close to you, it gives him the advantage. Let's say here, if you're this close and he attacks first, then most likely you're going to lose the fight because you don't have time to react. Now if you're this far and he's coming in, you want to, get, you want to be the one that's closing the distance and you want to be one that attacks first, which leads us to the third, um, the third mistake that people do is not attacking vital targets, dirty fighting targets, which is the eyes. Okay. So number three, make sure you didn't attack the eyes or kick them in the balls, okay, or punch them in the groin, okay, or the throat. So those are the three mistakes that people make in street fights, and three ways to train, and three ways, and three concepts that you can use to make sure that you increase the chances of winning a street fight in self-defense or in any combat situation. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. If you have questions about what you just learned here today, then make sure that you ask them in the comment section. And make sure that you click the notification bell so you get all the latest lessons that are coming out on this channel. We'll see you soon.